Yeah, a lot of people slept through their alarms because they thought it was still nighttime. That's what they woke up to. Dark red skies at 9 a.m. through about noon yesterday. It just kept getting darker and darker. I have several uh, family that lives out there and they all were sending pictures and it is just remarkable what was going on. And they're going to still see that yet again this morning through tomorrow even. Ash was coming down. So let's explain to you what's going on. Of course, we know there are several large fires burning across California in Northern California, very large one. So here's what happens. The smoke, the rays of the, the sun, excuse me, the sun shines right through a lot of the smoke. They also had the marine layer and what goes on is that the blue lights get scattered as the light travels through the air. So the blues, the purples, the greens that we would typically see from the sun rising that did not get through the smoke and that marine layer. So all they saw was red. They saw the darkness, of course, because of the smoke in the marine layer as well. So quite a mix going on there. Well, we're watching here our skies also gray not so much red but right this lines peak view right in the middle of your screen there is that little bit of red and that would be the flames from the valley fire so you can actually see that from this camera that's quite a ways away so showing you that of course there's still active fire burning for us as far as air quality is concerned it's not going to be anywhere near as bad as what uh, they saw up in northern california orange county even throughout la they've been dealing with poor air quality for us will be in the moderate range so there's still going to be some particulate matter in the air you don't want to spend too much time outside uh, when times like this, but a lot of our smoke is coming from this fire. This is the Bobcat fire. So this view is Mount Wilson. That's north, uh, of course, near Pasadena, Sierra Madre area, and that's the fire burning in the Angeles National Forest. So the air quality folks are saying that our gray skies, not necessarily from the Valley Fire, it's from this massive fire that's burning, you know, over 100 miles away from us. But of course, the wind pushing it from the south, or excuse me, from the north to the south into San Diego. Diego. What we're going to see as far as our winds are concerned, we'll have a little bit of a land breeze throughout the morning that's coming in from the mountains down into the foothills. Not too strong, not what we saw yesterday, but by this afternoon, we'll get that onshore flow again. That's the sea breeze that we typically get in the afternoons, and that may bring our wind speeds 10 to 12 miles an hour. Temperature wise in the inland spots, Ramona, El Cajon, Alpine, you'll be warmer. Low 90s, Poway 91, Escondido 91. That ridge of high pressure that's to the north right now by Oregon, California, Northern California. It's going to move a little closer to San Diego through the weekend. So many inland spots, the mountains, the deserts will feel warmer. The coast, though, you're not going to be impacted by that. You'll stay fairly cool. In fact, cooling through the weekend. Beach forecast, two to four foot waves. Water temperature, it's feeling a lot more comfortable. 69 degrees right now. Eight day microclimate forecast showing at the beaches will cool down into the upper 70s for Saturday, Sunday. Some inland spots that are closer to the beaches, upper 90s through the weekend. But again, the mountains and deserts, your temperatures will be hotter. Stella.